Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to install FIDO OS on any old laptop or PC. This is an alternative to Chrome OS, and all you need is a USB flash drive to install FIDO OS onto any sort of old laptop that might be coming to end of life on October 14th, 2025, because that's when Windows 10 uh, reaches end of life. Now, if you do have an old system like this, and you want to give it a new lease of life, then you can try FIDO OS for free. It's easy to download and install, and I'll share the whole process in this video. So I've got a sixth generation uh, Intel processor in this particular uh, ThinkPad here. This is the specs right here on the screen, as you can see. So we've got about eight gigabytes of RAM in here. We also have an Intel i5-6300U on here so if you want to install this operating system it's completely free to download there is three requirements here for you to download it as you can see pc with legacy ie 2011 to 2017 intel third gen or to seventh gen you need to download this particular version right here and that has intel hd integrated graphics or if your pc is with the newer 2018 or after, then you need to get this middle one right here if it's 8th gen up to 13th gen. And if the PC with AMD Radeon uh, discrete or integrated graphics, AMD or Intel processors, you need to download the third one. So I'm gonna download the top one because I have an i5-6300U. So that's the one we're gonna download right here. Gonna use the official download link, download that there then you're going to need rufus and a usb flash drive i have a 32 gigabyte usb flash drive which i'm going to be using so i'm going to download the installation version of rufus by just clicking on the file right here and it will download both of these files so i now have uh, rufus already open what i need to do is hit the select button uh, to select the image file which is what i've just downloaded off of the fido s's website so i'm going to select that one right here and the settings are pre-designed for our USB flash drive here. So all I need to do here is click on start and this will start the process and burn this image onto our USB flash drive so we can then boot to it and install our version of FIDO S. Say yes to erase all the information on that USB flash drive. I've speeded this process up. It does take a bit of time, but you should see something like ready once it's completed. Next, I'm gonna to boot to it and choose the language and input method right here. You can use whatever language you want to use. I'm looking for English United Kingdom here. And also you can use your tab key to change to the next selection right here, because I want to change from the US to United Kingdom. So let's go ahead and use our arrow keys. And you can see I can change that right here. And this is for our keyboard layout. All I need to do is use the tab key to go down to OK. And now we can get started. So what we're gonna do is install uh, FIDO S on here. You can see it says try it first if you want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and install FIDO S on this system. Now you can dual boot this as well, but that is for another video. This is to install FIDO S completely onto this old laptop. So what I'm gonna do here is gonna push next, and you can see here full disk installation or multi-boot installation multi boot would be for a dual boot if you want to see that video let me know in the comments section down below but i'm going to be doing a full disk installation here next we need to choose the disk and you can use the drop down arrow right here there is only one drive in here and that is the drive that you're seeing on the screen if you do have multiple disks inside you need to make sure you select the correct disk once i select that it's going to go ahead and start installing uh, fido s onto this hard drive. Now, this will erase all the data on the drive, of course, because we're doing a full installation of this, so it's gonna erase the whole drive. So I'll let this go ahead. I will speed this process up so it doesn't take too long. But again, you just have to uh, let it do its thing. It does take a bit of time to install the operating system on here. Installation has now been completed, so I'm gonna go ahead and restart the laptop, and I'm gonna remove the USB flash drive. You just need to make sure you're booting to the right drive, but because we've uh, done a full install here, I just need to select uh, the right drive here, and I've done that. And now you can see FIDO OS is now loading up. Now you might see this screen right here, language and input method. Again, you will need to change this to your own liking, again, because this is the setup process. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Next, you can choose your uh, Wi-Fi you want to connect to. I'm going to be using an Ethernet connection right here for speed. So now we should see accept and continue. And now we can set up an account with our Google account, or you can use a FIDE OS account. I'm going to change this to a Google account because I do have a Google account that I can use on this system. But if you want to set up a FIDE OS account, this is where you can go ahead and do it. Or if you have one already, you can log into it. So let me go ahead and use this right here. You can also use a local account. I'm going to use a, a natural account, which is connected to Google uh, or Fido S, depending on which way you want to go, or a local account. It's up to you. I'm going to do this for personal use here, and we're going to go ahead and do next here. And once this is done, it's going to ask you to sign in. So let me go ahead and quickly sign in here. There's some other options here available too, like create an account uh, as well. If you want to create a Google account, this is where you can do it. If you want to use the app store and stuff like that, then it's worth doing all that sort of stuff. Next, I've signed into my account and now I can create a password for this Fido S device. Or you can use your Google account password if you want to. I'm just going to quickly create a Fido S uh, password here. So let me go ahead and do that and click next. And now your password is now set. We can now click next again. And now you can see here, uh, change your touchpad uh, or you can change display and all that sort of stuff here dark mode, light mode, whatever you want to use. I'm going to skip that for now. And it says now we are ready. This is where you can uh, opt in or out uh, to sign up for the newsletter and also to join FidoS's user experience improvement plan if you want to. I'm going to uncheck those and click get started. And there we are. We have got that installed on this system. Now the touch screen and everything works perfectly fine on this particular laptop, which is a plus sign for me because that means this laptop can still use its touchscreen, comes with its own pen. You've got your browser here as well, which is going to search through DuckDuckGo. And again, we can change that if you wanted to, but I'm going to leave that as is. And all in all, it's a really nice little operating system, and it will give this little laptop another lease of life. Got access to Google Drive here, downloads, and all your other usual stuff right here, your trash, and then we've got uh, stuff down on the bottom right hand side here, which is your uh, time zone, your Great Britain here. And you can see the date and also the time on the left hand side. There is a little circle there, which I'll show you right now. So let me go ahead and click on that little circle and this will give you access to the start menu. And this is where all your uh, information is going to be like your gallery, your Linux apps, your settings and also your web store. And you can see print jobs and stuff like that. You can go in here and change all your settings. There's plenty of settings to choose from. Privacy and security, apps, and also FIDE OS AI. And you also got some other stuff like uh, system preferences and things like that. Let me go back in here again and just show you. You've got Chromium browser in here, Android as well, camera. And you've got the store right here, FIDE OS's app store right here. And this is going to give you access to all the apps that you might need on your little device again youtube office you can see right here uh, discord all the usual stuff that you would get disney plus and things like that you've got web apps here as well and you've got extensions themes android apps as well on here so google photos if you use that or slack or any of that stuff instagram is all on there as well you can install those and use this on your laptop so this will give your laptop a new lease of life. This is getting updated all the time. So if you do have an old laptop or an old PC that is becoming end of life on October 14th, 2025, then you might want to consider something like this because this is really useful and easy to use and it will give that machine a new lease of life rather than sending it to e-waste which I think is a much better option available to a lot of people who haven't got the money to buy a new laptop or PC. And this is it here, working perfectly fine here. As you can see, I've got a dongle on the side there using an Ethernet, but I could use Wi-Fi if I wanted to. If you've got an old laptop lying around or an old PC and you want to put it to some use, then you can use this method using Fido OS. It's really simple and easy to do. It's an alternative to Chrome OS I really do like this option, and again, I think you will do too. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout-out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I'll try and leave all the information and links in the video description. 
and I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>